The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. See the Dow Industrials finish down 30. NASDAQ was up 126. S&P's up 18 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $4.90 trading at 2,038 an ounce. We had silver off 27 cents, $25.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 94 cents, $72.70 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note traded up 22 ticks at 115.28. The 30 year up a full point at 130.22. Both notes and bonds, want, folks, want higher price, lower yield. And King Dollar. King dollar down 162 ticks, trading 101.442. The euro at 109, the yen at uh, 134, and the British pound at 126 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at this spy first. Bottom line, folks, looks to me like you're going to go a little higher here. High, you know, you, you got to pick up in volume today. You got 88 million shares traded. That's that little swing point that's laying up there inside the spy. 417 is game. And of course, the last high was the 418. When we went up there a week and a half ago, 417, it gave it up on light volume. So we'll see what happens. But the way it traded out here today, it looks like it's going to go hit it. And it was the NDX that was leading. The three Qs were leading it. Had volume all day long in the three Qs. Yes, it oscillated back and forth. But guess what? You ended up breaking topside with volume. We did 59 million shares. You took out the 56, 50, figure this out. You took out the swing and it has volume behind the move. Uh, this thing wants higher price also. Now the difference inside the Qs is that that higher move is dramatically higher. You know, ah, you're talking about the higher move out there at uh, 324, no, 334. And we're at 325 right now. That's the swing. Now there'll be flack there, but there's no reason it can't get up there. We, we were up there, you know, in last August. So hey, guess what? You know, it's May now, right? <laughs> so this is a big consolidation. And, and that wouldn't mean that you're going higher. All it means is that, you know, bottom line, you're going back up to the 50% retracement again, because that's what that was, the 50% retracement of the whole move. And so the thing to keep your eye on is this dollar, folks. Okay? The dollar is the number. So, you know, the dollar is trying to get off the lows. But when you look at higher market, that's saying the dollar is not going to be able to get off its lows. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks.